It's now time for mission, and mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to UK Aid, European Union, and Danida. In our very first story, accessing the 3% common fund is a challenge for 24 year old Betty, a physically challenged person in the Cape Coast metropolis. Well, this is because she is unable to attend meetings and pay her dues. Bright Nana Amfo reports she has received only one disbursement when she was in junior high school. Betty Mensah was crippled at age five when she fell. She has since been confined to a wheelchair and has a dream, a big dream, and that is to become a lawyer. But her condition will not allow her. In high school, I flipped back with girls, but I grew up in an orphanage home in Accra. And I'm now in Cape Coast here, but I didn't complete GSS because of financial support. Even though the school was government school, but my books, my feeding, and there are some little things I have to buy in school. And my parents wasn't there to support, so I have to drop out from school. Though she got her first support as a PWD, she's no longer able to access her share of the 3% common fund. I don't attend the meeting and I don't pay my monthly dues. That is why I have not receive it. If only you pay. So whatever that comes, you get your share of it. And if you are not working, how can you pay your monthly dues? She needed to survive and so relied on friends. You have to get a loan from someone to start something with it. So you started this uh, business with a loan? Yes, please. How is the business doing? Sometimes it goes fast, but sometimes it goes slow. The cell phone credit vending business is good for her. At least she can rely on it to feed herself. She's looking beyond just that. For me to rely on this credit, I can't further my education. So I need a lot of support. She has tried all she can, including consulting some officers at the then Cape Coast Municipal Assembly. She's, however, yet to get any results. I was having a friend who was working at the municipal service, and then I complain it to him and then he also said so far as the person is physically challenged it's a must that he or she must get the money but for my society it is not that the ghana federation of disability organizations cape coast branch first refuted the claim that she is not receiving funding because of her inability to pay her dues it is not true that they don't if they don't attend meetings in cape coast i cannot say that is the case it may be happening in other districts because I'm also the regional um, president of the Federation of Disability Organizations. So when I go to, when I visit other districts, I hear these complaints there and I try to um, address them. I was in Winneba to do an arbitration uh, on um, this issue because they had refused uh, members of the Inclusion Ghana to benefit from the common fund. But actually, uh, after the end of the day, we were able to resolve the issue. The Federation, however, said it could be as a result of a large number of persons in her association. Oh, if it is possible, then he's a new member because he will come and meet a queue. And uh, um, unfortunately, the District Assembly Common Fund for disability, uh, the Disability Grant is not sufficient to go around everybody at every time. So I, at any other time, a few will benefit and a few others too will have to be on standby for the next disbursement. So that has always been the case. But some of them um, attribute that to they not attending meetings regularly, but that is not the case. The association says all members should benefit from the fund and ask those yet to receive their share to exercise patients. The Federation, however, promised to take Betty's case up. While Betty waits for her share of the 3% common fund, she's appealing for support to enable her achieve her dreams. What do you want to be in future? I want to be a lawyer. Have you forgotten about that dream? 
No, I always pray to God about it for me to achieve my aim. Betty is one of the persons with disability here in the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly. The disability organization in Cape Coast is suggesting that they are making all efforts to ensure that such persons, no matter their situation, get the opportunity to access the fund to be able to live decent lives. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Cape Coast. Well, hopefully, Betty's dream of becoming a lawyer will become a reality. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to UKAID, European Union, and Danida. Thanks so much for watching.